This is the story of how I managed to find out something was truly going wrong in this secret base. Now I don't know exactly how this story even began because the start of the story was truly just incredibly interesting. As you can all see right here at the start of the story, there was actually a wither skull that was trying to attack me. Now what was even weirder was skull wasn't the normal kind of wither skull as you guys can see. This one actually had red eyes and it definitely was quite strange. So I was quite scared as to what was going to go on because I didn't know on how on earth I was going to defend myself against this creature. Now, luckily for me, I was guessing that this kind of wither storm wasn't going to be the one that was completely dangerous because of course, although wither storms are very, very dangerous, this one seemed to only have a melee attack. Now, this adventure was definitely where I was going to want to be seeing the chainsaw man in his secret base, but this wasn't something that seemed to be working as the creature started to get more and more angry. So I decided that of course, even though I was fighting this creature, it was likely that he was defending the chainsaw man's secret base now at this time i wasn't exactly sure that i was going to see what this was now of course this creature actually did drop something interesting and the story once i got this ender crystal which the creature had dropped i knew that the game was on you see of course this creature was up to no good and of course he was up to definitely interesting things but what i didn't predict was exactly what was going to happen next so you all know that this was the chainsaw man's secret base and that was going to be the base that i was looking to explore and i didn't really understand how what or where the chainsaw man was but i did know that if i was going to explore the secret base then i might as well be as equipped as possible so whilst looking around i noticed that there were many different things that could be potentially leading me to the chainsaw man's secret base and one of them was a very strange village now luckily for me villages aren't always indicative of something that tells you where things are but this was most certainly the time that that had occurred so i knew that things were nearby and the Chainsaw Man secret base was most certainly nearby, I just had to figure out or ask the right villager for the right direction so that I could know exactly where I was going. So after looking around this village for quite some time, I decided upon this villager right here. Now, when I first initially found this villager, I actually had to give him a bunch of items. As you can all see, I'd actually managed to do a great job. As this villager said, thank you for the job you did. Now, at first, I was kind of confused because I thought that, you know, what is he talking about? What kind of job? But he was like, take those. And that he was thanking me for destroying the wither that was somehow destroying the village near him. Now, this was definitely quite interesting, but I knew that if I was going to do this, this was really cool. Now, of course, this villager decided that he wanted me to take on another challenge. I was actually quite confused at what he meant, but I knew that this was definitely going to be something more interesting. So I decided to take on the challenge that he said, you need to go, a cave, go to a cave and we will see you there. Now, this is where the story started to change because this is exactly where we were going to be moving. So I did try to find out some more details, but he said there is nothing more to know about it. And I was like, all right, you know what? Since this person said there's nothing more to know about it, I guess that was all there is. Go to the west and you will find a fallen tree. So I decided that I would do just that. Find the fallen tree and find out exactly what was going on with this crazy story. So go to find the fallen tree. I just did exactly that. Now, I got to be honest, this definitely was a very interesting journey because I was actually looking for the chainsaw man, but didn't really see him until some time later. It definitely was a very confusing period for me, but nonetheless, I decided to set off on the journey with high hopes and high ambitions. I decided to eat a golden apple just to make sure that even if I did come across the chainsaw man, that I wouldn't be in a whole part of trouble immediately. But eventually, after finding out exactly what was going on, I managed to see that nearby there were some fallen trees. Now, I have to be honest, they didn't really look like fallen trees. They actually looked like some trees that were destroyed by something. And I don't know what they were destroyed by, but I knew that I had found the right location. All I needed to do now was simply find something that was nearby. And of course, the thing that was going to be nearby was, of course, the Chainsaw Man. So now I had to find out exactly where the Chainsaw Man and exactly what he was up to. And I needed to see exactly what was going on because I didn't know where to go from here. Now, I didn't really know much about the Chainsaw Man other than he had a chainsaw on his head. And I didn't know exactly where I could find him. But I did know that if I continued looking around, then potentially I could find the chainsaw man nearby now he did say that i do need to go to a cave if i want to find the chainsaw man so that was a very big hint and i knew that if this hint was to continue
to provide me with answers, then I was going to do exactly that. And as you can all see right here, as I looked around to my right, I didn't see anything. But as I looked back to my left, that was where I managed to see this. Now, this was a very strange kind of cave. I wasn't exactly sure as to what kind of cave it was, but it definitely was a very not normal kind of cave. As you can all see, the design of it definitely showed me that it was some kind of thing out there. So I decided that why not go inside to this cave and see exactly what is going on. So let's go ahead and see what was inside this cave. Now, I definitely was quite scared to enter this cave at first because I knew that even if I wasn't going to be nearby, I was definitely going to be in some kind of trouble because of course when you enter someone else's secret base they always usually have some kind of trap especially for those who aren't familiar now what was strange was that from the moment i looked inside the secret base there was something weird inside there as you can all see there was some kind of fire inside there that was really really strange i didn't really understand exactly where it was coming from or what it was doing but it was really really weird i decided to shoot an arrow at it and i didn't really understand exactly what was going on but eventually this crazy creature decided to come out of there now i was wondering who on earth is the chainsaw man had this villager completely lied to me did he just want to send me on one another one of his ventures but at the same time i didn't know exactly what was going on so i just decided to go into this cave because that was what i had expected so i decided to continue on and go inside his cave and see if i could figure out exactly what was going on and as you guys can all see it seemed as if these creatures were somewhat related to the chainsaw man so the blazes that were there were some kind of crazy sort of creeper or some crazy sort of distant relative to the chainsaw man as they seem to be protecting his secret base so i decided to try and destroy these random things but of course it definitely was quite scary as you can all see so luckily for me i did manage to get rid of that one right there and it was definitely still confusing because i didn't have any torches and it was quite dark so i decided to continue on and go down in secret base now whilst it was super super dark at first there was eventually light at the end of the tunnel now as i managed to walk through the dark caves so yeah as soon as i was plunged into the darkness something actually told me that there was actually a light at the end of the tunnel as you can all see right here although it didn't seem like it at the time the light just seemingly appeared from nowhere and we were definitely working hard on locating where or what the man or the chainsaw man actually was now i didn't know exactly where he was going to be or exactly what he was going to do but it definitely was kind of interesting to see exactly how far things had actually come now this definitely was quite strange but somehow we'd managed to find this strange character so as you guys can see we decided that we would actually make sure we could figure out exactly what was going on so i actually had a look around and wanted to see if there was anything crazy in this world now i didn't exactly know what was going on but i knew that somewhere in this secret base that there was potentially something going on that could somehow tell us exactly how we could find the chainsaw man now the chainsaw man definitely doesn't, does have many different aliases and many different ways that he can walk talk speak and do many different things and i honestly wasn't going to just back down from a complete fight but i did know that if i was going to eventually end up seeing him that i would somehow make sure that if i did see him i was going to somehow destroy him so i know that might seem a bit extreme but of course i needed to make sure that this was going to 100 percent work so eventually i decided that you know what i'm guessing that the chainsaw man even though this was his secret base he just simply wasn't here so i decided that why not if this wasn't this chainsaw man and he wasn't actually here that then I would potentially have to go ahead and find out exactly where he was because of course I knew that finding out where he was was going to be one of the most important things. So I decided to look around at his secret base and I thought you know what okay the chainsaw man clearly isn't here he's clearly up to no good so I decided that I was going to leave the secret base and you won't believe what I found. Now also what I did manage to find underneath his secret base was I did manage to find a secret layer of TNT which was actually hiding under a red carpet and I did realize that this was going to be something very interesting as I knew that I needed to make sure that if this this was the real TNT or the dangerous TNT that somehow whatever TNT this was that I could simply destroy it as quick as possible. So I decided that why not go ahead and destroy this TNT and then whilst leaving the secret base you guys won't believe what I found. So after hitting the lever and many of these crazy guards of the chainsaw man decided to come out you guys are about to see exactly what I encountered. So I decided to destroy his secret base and make sure that everything was completely gone but what you're about to see now is something that is completely insane. 
as I was leaving the secret base, you can all see that for some reason the Chainsaw Man was actually atop of the secret base this entire time, watching me and simply spying on me for some strange reason. Now I wasn't exactly sure as to why this was happening, but somehow this was, and it definitely was very, very strange.